Hello everyone. Are you facing issues while setting up PostgreSQL on your Windows 11 machine? Seeing that dreaded database cluster initialization failed error? Don't worry. This video will guide you through simple steps to fix this problem and get your database up and running. We'll explore common causes and provide practical solutions. Let's dive in. Firstly, check your PostgreSQL installation path. Sometimes, spaces or special characters in the installation directory can cause problems. Reinstalling PostgreSQL in a simpler path, like c backslash PostgreSQL, can resolve this. During the installation, pay close attention to the chosen data directory. It's crucial to choose a location where your user account has full read and write permissions. Next, permissions are key. The user account running the PostgreSQL service needs sufficient permissions on the data directory. Right-click on the data directory, usually found under C, backslash program files backslash PostgreSQL backslash version backslash data, select properties, go to the security tab, and make sure your user account has full control. If not, grant the necessary permissions. Another potential issue lies in conflicts with antivirus software. Sometimes, your antivirus program might interfere with the database initialization process. Try temporarily disabling your antivirus software during the PostgreSQL setup. Remember to re-enable it after the installation is complete. Moving on, port conflicts are a common culprit. PostgreSQL typically uses port 5432. Another application might be using this port. You can check this by opening the command prompt and running netstat ano find 5432. If another process is using the port, you can either stop that process or configure PostgreSQL to use a different port during installation. This can be done in the advanced settings during the install. Now, check your system locale. Incorrect system locale settings can also prevent PostgreSQL from initializing correctly. Ensure your system locale is set to a compatible language. Go to Control Panel, then Clock and Region, then Region, and check the Format tab. Ensuring you have a relevant format should prevent this issue. Finally, consider reinstalling PostgreSQL carefully. When uninstalling, make sure to completely remove all PostgreSQL-related files and folders, including the data directory and any environment variables. Then, download the latest version of PostgreSQL and reinstall it, carefully following the prompts and checking each step. Consider restarting your computer after each uninstallation or installation, to prevent further issues. If none of these steps work, research your specific error messages online. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Consider supporting the channel through Patreon or by buying merchandise. Your support helps us create more helpful content. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions.